welcome back guys welcome back to crown geek in this video i will be sharing the most effective solution to reset your forgotten password in windows 11. now this method will also work in windows 10 so you can also do the same process now what all will be covering in this video like resetting the forgotten password and even if you have the bitlocker drive encryption page then you can also bypass it now here i'm taking an example of the local account that i will be resetting but in case if you are logged in with a microsoft account then for that you can directly go to a microsoft website and from there you can change the password okay so this method is only applicable for the local users so right now i am on my desktop and if i enter the password it doesn't take and it says the password is incorrect so probably you are also on the same screen and you are not able to enter to your computer so let's quickly get started first you will have to create a bootable usb flash drive for windows 11. now for creating a bootable flash drive you need a pen drive a usb drive that should be at least of 16 gigabyte of space and there should not be any kind of data on it now to create a windows 11 bootable flash drive you need to come to any other laptop or computer and if you don't have and you want to create from your mobile only then i've already created a video that how you can create windows 11 bootable flash drive from your phone only but if you have access to any other computer then you need to come to this rufus website once you come up here scroll down a bit and click on the first option rufus 4.2.exe download it once downloaded you also need to download windows 11 iso so you will be getting both this link in the description once you come up here you need to scroll down to the bottom and you will find download windows 11 disk image so click on the addition download it and once it's been downloaded run the rufus software that you downloaded and once it's been installed you will be getting this kind of page now here it will automatically detect your usb pen drive and in case if it doesn't detect then make sure that you have connected your pen drive to the computer from which you are making this flash drive okay if you have connected multiple drive then make sure that you select the right one once selected then you have to select the iso file of windows 11 so click on select locate to the location where you have downloaded the windows 11 iso select it then click on open now you don't have to make any changes here just click on start so now here it will ask you some kind of options but we really don't need it because we are not going to install windows 11 we only need a flash drive so click on ok then click on ok and the process will now be started so let's wait until the process has been completed and then we can move with the next step all right so our usb flash drive is now ready so you have to click on close now take out this usb flash drive from this computer and connect to the targeted computer where you have the problem where you want to reset the password and once you have connected now you need to start your computer in the bios mode so that we can change the boot order and change this usb flash drive on the top so that the next time when we start the computer the computer can boot with that particular usb flash drive so in order to go to the bios you can do the different bios key like f2 delayed escape depending that what kind of motherboard manufacturer you're using all right so once you're in the bios go to the boot section change the boot priority and make this usb drive selected so now the next time when you will start the computer it will automatically boot with that particular usb and once you come to this windows installation screen from your keyboard you have to press and hold the shift and the f10 key all together and once you press you will see this kind of black screen coming up now in this black screen of command prompt you have to type few command so the first one will be manage dash bd space dash status hit the enter key and now we can see that the drive encryption status says lock status has been locked so first what you will have to do you need to just unlock the bit locker drive encryption because the bit locker has been enabled and the drive has been locked so the next command will be manage bd space dash unlock then type the drive letter so you can see the drive letter is displayed here volume c so i'll type c colon then give a space then type dash recovery password space and now here you have to enter the recovery key now the recovery key must be saved somewhere in your drive 
or probably somewhere in the microsoft account depending where exactly you save the recovery key while configuring the bitlocker drive encryption okay so if you have saved somewhere in your drive a part of the c drive because that is logged so you can go to that particular location and then you can find that recovery key once you get it you need to enter here and in case if you have saved somewhere in the microsoft account then you can access any other computer or mobile open this website account.microsoft.com slash devices slash recovery key i will leave the link in the description and then here you have to log in with the same microsoft account once you logged in it will show you the bitlocker recovery keys so you can either copy this recovery key from here or you can manually type in the command prompt here so let me quickly type it so once you are done hit the enter key and you will see it say the password successfully unlocked volume c all right so the drive has been now unlocked but now we only need to disable this drive encryption so the next command will be manage dash bd space dash off then type the drive letter c colon hit the enter key and it will say decryption is now in progress okay so once it's been completed the next command will be c colon hit the enter key then type cd space windows back forward slash system 32 so now we will be in the system 32 folder of windows then type the next command that will be copy utilman dot exe space utilman dot exe b a k hit the enter key now the next command that you have to type will be copy tmd dot exe space utilman dot exe space forward slash y hit the enter key again okay now you can close it and now remove the flash drive from your computer then close this setup let the computer come up again to the login screen and this time when you come to the login screen on the right hand corner you will see this accessibility icon and if you click on it now this will bring up the command prompt instead of the accessibility menus so now here you have to type a command that will be net space user then you need to type your username so my is test pc give a space and then type the password that you want to sign in for this account so i will just type like crown okay so this is a command this will be your username and this will be your password that you want now to log into your computer once done hit the enter key and it says the command completed successfully so now i can close it i will go to my username and type the same password and you can see that now i'm inside my computer i don't have to go through with the bit locker or anything everything has been cleared and even my password has been resetted so this is one of the best and 100% working method in case if nothing works for you or if you just want to go with a single method that surely helps. Hopefully you will find this video helpful guys and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.